finisher, he's going to change the blade and, change, and clean off the debris and change the belts. They're not so bad either, but they sharpen it. Nice edge. I sharpened them with that new sharpener, PVG 712. The other night. We'll be posting prices for him to do service other blades at a later time. This is from last night. That's junky. I did that lawn last night. It was Margaret. She has so many weeds, so. I shouldn't even really do this right here. It's okay. This It'll blow off. Out in the grass somewhere. I want to put this in a trash can. Best way to get this off? Well, after you scrape the big stuff. Pressure washer. It knocks off the spindles and everything. Now he does this often as to keep his lawnmowers. If you've never done it, you may want it may take you a little bit longer. The, to get it cleaned up. If they've never cleaned their lawnmower. Huh? If someone else has never cleaned underneath their lawnmower. Oh. Well, sometimes it comes off by itself. This is still wet from last night. If I went out to mow today, most of this would come off. By the time I'm done, a lot of it would be knocked off on its own. It would fall off in the vibration and getting dry, it shrinks. That's good to know. The mud the dirt does fall off on its own, but this is just wet. So it sticks. And it's easy to get off when it's wet, but it's just, it, you don't, like all this will fall off on its own because. Vibration? Yeah. And just drying, when it dries, it shrinks. So it, but I need it off good for airflow this morning. Well, would, would it, could it cause it to it rust cut, out? It doesn't cut as well because it makes the mower heavier. It makes the mower heavier when you mow, and it also, uh, it doesn't create airflow in the deck because you got the grass taking up space and it sounds like a jet airplane. That's how you can tell someone's got a dirty deck. It's, you hear it sound like a jet airplane, the lawnmower? Mm -hmm. It's because it's, there's no airflow underneath. And if there's no airflow, the grass doesn't. How often do you do this? The blades? Clean it out in the blade. This, well, I don't clean it out unless it's dirty, but if I tip it up and it's not that bad, I, I leave it alone. But in this case, I mowed last night. It was kind of damp, that lawn. So I'm cleaning it, but normally I just sharpen the blades just when they need it, but usually about every 30, 40 lawns, depending on, that could be every, anywhere from a week to two weeks. Some people do them every day. And why should you sharpen your blades? So they cut the grass. What else? Well, some now, people yeah, don't you, sharpen their blades, so... Yeah, if you don't sharpen the blades, you don't get the nice clean cut. You get ripped grass, and then you got yellow tips because the grass rips it instead of cutting it. It's going to cut it, swinging at three to 5,000 RPM. It's going to cut the grass regardless, but oops, if it's not sharp on the edges, like right here in this first edge, mm -hmm. at least, if it's not sharp... It'll just tear the grass. Which is bad for it, right? But uh, it won't look as nice. Alright, get this the right direction here. Space around there. These blades are timed. With a belt. It's got a timing belt. They call it a synchronous belt. I call it a sling blade. <laughs> Good movie. <laughs> That's now, what, what I was fixing to say. What did he call it? He calls it's a sling blade. He calls it a, a Kaiser blade. There you go. Putting these Kaiser blades back on his mower. This one's not. These got to be tight. Because if they're not, I had one come loose one time and they hit each other. Oh. I thought I hit something. See that time. See that? Sometimes you got them off a little bit. They got to be timed 180 degrees. There's a timer the belt on there. And yeah, those are still perfect. That belt doesn't slip. It's got teeth on it. See it? 
What's the benefit of two blades? A wider mower. <laughs> wider area coverage? Well, if you got one blade, then your mower has to be big around. If you got the deck long, you have three blades. That's there's only two blades, 34 inch. This is a 30 inch Toro, Time Master. Put an 8.75 gross torque motor on it. It's not a big engine, but it sure does handle those. It sure does handle well. It has plenty of power. The new one has a, the new mower like this has a 10 gross torque motor on it. I don't have one like that. Eventually I'll probably, when these wear out, this one's got 89 hours on it. Just about 190 hours on it. And the other one's got, I thought it had over 300 last week. Hold on. 269 hours. 269 on the other one. That one's three years older though. Uh, let me take this. Okay. Clean some of this up. So we're changing the belt now? Yeah, I can't use two belts. Just two. Synchronous, not synchronous. I'm changing not the... Not the timing belt. Yeah, not the timing belt. That one lasts a lot longer and it's a lot more expensive. I'm changing the drive belt and the belt. The belt drive for the transmission, runs all the time, and the belt for the blades engagement. Both are under this cover. Okay. A little magnet. Put these screws out. See all that grass? This one, that one's tight enough. This is the timing belt here. I can see the bumps and ridges from here. And it's supposed to be ten thousandths here on the spring. And I'm checking it. It seems tight enough. Don't want it too tight or else it seems to. Check the bearings on these idlers. I had one of these go out before. And when they do, you let you know it. So if it's singing, it's vibrating? No. When the belt's so tight, it makes a, a singing noise. Oh. I probably want to tighten that belt a little bit. I don't know. I just don't want it to slip. Slip it too, but I'm worried about this pulley here. It moves a little bit. This one goes too, though. time if they fail on me, that's for sure. What the new ones look like. I don't know if they're supposed to have a little play in there or not. out. I don't want to get it all over you. The reason I'm wondering if I should change this belt is because if I do, I got to do all three of them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm going to get my... So I'm only seeing two belts. Where's the third one at? I see the one on top and the timing belt. Oh, okay. It's a small belt. That little belt's underneath. Here's the belts. This one's never had a synchronous belt put on it before, but this pulley's fairly new, so I don't think... 
This is the one that fell on. This has yeah, been replaced before. This one has not. They both feel the same. I'll tell you what. I'm just going to leave them mm -hmm. and go by what the other mower feels like. If the other mower feels the same, I really doubt they all have the same exact wear. So, I'm going to swivel on this one to get this guard off. To get my gloves back on. I almost need a work table for this. Okay, so once this guard comes off, this belt may not even be bad. It may not even have no marks in it yet. You usually get hair in them though. I shouldn't have put this here. Gotta move your fodder. Well, it's either that or just laying it. This belt is very hard to do. What? This is the original belt. I didn't hear you. I do like the older guys to save it put behind the seat of the truck just in case it breaks one day. Okay. That's <laughs> a joke. That was a joke. I'm trying to get this 